we have found uh, evidence uh, for possible biological activity on an exoplanet. This is, we have found uh, signs of biosignature molecules, either DMS or DMDS or both, both of which are produced uniquely by life here on Earth and have been predicted to be biosignatures on planets around other uh, stars as well. And we found uh, the strongest uh, evidence to date on a biosignature molecule, in this case a combination, potentially uh, around another star outside the solar system. And that <clears throat> is a, a major breakthrough in our search for life beyond the solar system. Um, not only that there is a chance that the planet can actually be habitable, but what we are finding is that we are demonstrating that it is possible to detect biosignatures around uh, uh, in atmospheres of such planets around nearby stars with existing facilities and that's a big breakthrough. Currently, the only scenario that explains all the observations, in other words, detections of methane and carbon dioxide, non-detection of ammonia and carbon monoxide, and now possible detection of these molecules means that based on our current understanding, the only scenario that explains all of this is one where it's a Haitian world that is teeming with life. And what is a Haitian world? It's an ocean covered surface with a thin hydrogen rich atmosphere. So, and the ocean being habitable. So that is the only scenario which can currently explain all the observations together. However, we want to remain open to other uh, alternatives uh, one might come up with in the future. This moment in history of science will be viewed as a paradigm shift in our search for life. And the reason for that is that we have breached the level where we are demonstrating that if there is life out there, if there are Haitian worlds out there, these ocean worlds with hydrogen atmos atmospheres with life on them, we are basically establishing here that we can detect that kind of like signature, those kinds of uh, planets and uh, biosignatures in them. So that that is a paradigm shift in our understanding. This is a monumental uh, discovery. It is very important, but we also have to be extremely cautious. The reason is that this is one of the biggest questions we have asked as a species in all of science, and we have to deal with it very carefully in that we want to be really, really robust in establishing whether this is actually life that we are seeing. We want two things. We want more observations to confirm that this signal is robust. We are seeing it at a three sigma level. We still have three in a thousand chance of it being a fluke. So we want to observe more to get it to a five sigma level, less than a chance in a million, a part in a million uh, of a fluke. <clears throat> but we also want to do more theoretical and observational studies to make sure that there is absolutely no other way we can make this molecule without light. I think it is our responsibility as scientists and uh, as, as part of a society that we want to answer this very deep question in a very careful and robust manner. But the excitement is still there nevertheless that we've got the capability to do it now.